once we go from Taiji as this fun little exercise that we do, and we make the jump to Taiji Chuan as a martial art, where you're actually not just feeling chi, but you're feeling jin. That is, the energy is being expressed through the body and directed by your awareness, your conscious intent. When we once we make that jump. The, the bar of uh, the test of validity, it, it, it gets raised a bit. Because then it's, because uh, cheese happening regardless. So you, if you feel it, that's great, you know, and, um, uh, and that's uh, better than not. But to take it to that next level where you actually want to do something with it, bring it into your body, bring it into the world, use it as a way of enhancing your state of being, as well as your ability to do cool stuff. And that's where we have to raise the bar a little bit. So uh, uh, just giving you an example, we're gonna use a, a motion, very simple motion, and then we're gonna play around with that and and, uh, explore a little bit, but first I'd like to uh, uh, maybe do a little demonstration with that, and uh, so you can see. You want to give me a hand with this? Okay. So Maria's going to give me a hand with that, and uh, so the, the the motion is a very simple one. That is, boom. So if um, go ahead. So uh, why don't you put your Right leg forward, there you go, good. So if if you're, she's gonna do that, she's gonna to try to push me with that with that arm. I did you, it wrong? Well, do it, yeah, do it, do it, do it, what I, okay. So if she just uses what we talked about last week, a kinetic chain, that is, is going from the, the, the legs, torso, arm, down here, all to, down, out, it, nothing's happening. She, she can't, the, the muscles, are not enough to make magic happen, okay? Or even budge the uh, budge the needle a, a little bit. So the uh, <laughs> but to be able to do this, we have to get the shoulder out of the out of the out of the way. And this shoulder is a, a big problem for a lot of people. A lot of people have shoulder pain because so much is initiated by the shoulder. So the the trick that we've uh, We've developed here is first we want to establish energetic coherence by reaching with the index finger okay and we try to do that without engaging the shoulder without tightening up the arm so it's just it's really just just feeling that finger and reaching out with it and what that does is it establishes an energetic connection throughout the whole system and it also alerts the connective tissue system to activate the tensegrity of the system. That is the ability of the whole system to get that, that sinewy, um, whippy strength going and it connects everything up. So if we point here, and the next thing we do, we wanna, we wanna relax the shoulder by reaching, not lifting the elbow, but reaching with it, just reaching a little bit. And it's doing those, just those two things, I'm already gone. She already, just by doing those two things, the energy of the system is enough to cause me to be uprooted. We do it again and go ahead. And this time it's coming from the shoulder and nothing's happening. But this time she points, she feels the elbow, good. And now she's going to reach with her wrist here. She's going to bend the wrist and reach with that and, and allow that to fill up. And automatically, I start to go. I start to, I start to be uprooted. And this is because the energy is coming up and it's an expanding energy. Now we have gin. So the energy itself is, is nice, but it's not going to do it without the body, without the body cooperating. So we have this, boom, she fills here. And then just rotate the forearm so that we get this effect. 
and it's a very powerful effect with a minimum of physical effort. Go the other way now. So boom, you feel that? So the trick is how do I do this without activating the shoulder? Because that is such a deeply embedded <laughs> <laughs> process, a deep part of the program. And it's not something you can muscle because the, the, the muscles that are in the shoulder are just not strong enough to really do anything significant. But if you get it correct, if you line it up, then the energy comes down. We have gin and do it real slow. Boom, boom. So finger, elbow, good, wrist. And then, so notice that there's a sequence to this. If you don't follow the sequence, it's not like you memorize the sequence. The, the sequence just follows a natural route. And the, what I'm trying to trying to point out here is that you need to be able to feel from the inside that the effect that you're creating. So that right now, that is that is creating the effect that she wants. That is, it's creating a gin. It, it's an uprooting quality to that to that energy and that expression of the energy. So, and then go the other way, boom, elbow, point, reach it, that's it, that's it. And there you go. So this is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna walk you through this. Thank you.